All right, there is one area that I did not talk about in the last video, and that's whenever you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number, you need to flip your inequality sign. So what that means, if anytime you're multiplying or dividing by a negative, negative only, you're gonna change your inequality sign from a less than to a greater than, or vice versa, from a greater to a less than. Then again, with our equal to ones, same thing. If it's a less than or equal to, you're gonna flip it and change it to a greater than or equal to sign. I'm gonna go through a few examples to kind of show you what that looks like for um, multiplying and dividing. So the first equation we have, right? We have negative four X plus 10 is less than 14. So I'm gonna subtract 10 from both sides so I le am left with negative four X is less than four. And then this is where I am going to divide by a negative number. And we're going to want to flip our sign because notice we're dividing by a negative here. So instead of having it a less than, I'm gonna have it as a greater than. So my final answer is X is greater than negative one. Okay, so when I put that on the number line, I'm gonna have an open circle at negative one, and my arrow is going to be going to the right because X is greater than, so I wanna go towards the greater numbers. Let's go through a couple more. The next one here, we have negative six minus two X is greater than or equal to 20. So here, I'm gonna solve it just like I would a regular two-step equation. I'm gonna have negative two X is less than or equal to 26. And then again, notice I'm dividing by a negative. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to flip my inequality sign from a greater than to a less than. So I get X is less than or equal to negative 13. So when I put this on the number line, I'm gonna have a closed circle at negative 13. And then since X is less than, it's gonna be going to the left because X is gonna be less than negative 13. Let's do one where you are looking at what happens when we're multiplying by a negative. So here, I'm going to solve it just like I would, subtract nine, from both sides. So I had X divided by negative three is greater than two, because 11 minus nine is two. And then here I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to flip my inequality. So I have X is less than negative six for my answer. So this is only when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative, not when you're subtracting, right? only when you're multiplying or dividing. Right? So at negative six, I would have an open circle at negative six and my inequality would be going to the left because X is less than negative six. 